to Eternal Manna, the daily devotional broadcast of Grace Gospel Church. We are looking at Philippians chapter 4 and verse 3. We have been in this one verse for quite a few days. And now I want to uh, uh, read the last part of verse 3, whose names are written in the book of life. The names of all those listed in verse 3, they were written in the book of life. Uh, this word written is a very important word in the Bible. Thank God that uh, we have a written record which we can read and we can digest and we can apply to our life. I just want to track this word books. And the first book that we need to think about is the book of God, the Bible. The book of God, the Bible. God has revealed his mind to us. God has revealed his heart to us through the pages of scripture. How blessed we are that we have a Bible in our hands, in our own language. In English, there are so many different translations available to us today, making the text easier to understand. And, uh, and in context of uh, modern uh, terminology and language, the text is the same but we have a very readable Bible today. Bibles for children, for teenagers, and uh, of course for us adults, and for those in old age. So cherish the book of God, the Bible. Pressure it, cherish it, read it daily, value it, esteem it, live by it, and your life will be blessed. Then we have another book that is mentioned in the book of God, the Bible, and that we read of in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 1. Perhaps this verse has eluded you, and you may not have noticed this before. And in Genesis chapter 5 and verse 1, it is called the book of Adam, the book of Adam. And the book of Adam basically is Adam's genealogy. And again, we are so thankful to the Lord that we have a whole chapter where we have uh, listed Adam's genealogy. Names are mentioned. How long they lived, that's mentioned. And uh, uh, in almost every case, we are not really told what they did. But then there is a common refrain that runs right through chapter 5, and it say, simply says, he died, he died, he died. So in the book of Adam, there are people who were born, who lived a pretty long life, and then they died. What they did is not recorded. But that's a challenge for all of us, isn't it? That uh, you and I have been born and there is going to come a day we are all going to die. And in that in-between period, how we live our life and what we do is of great significance because that's going to impact our eternity, our eternity. And we need to live in light of eternity and uh, do all what God has called us to do so that there is uh, there are eternal dividends when we go to heaven. So we looked at the book of God, the Bible. We looked at the book of Adam, the written genealogy of Adam. And now in Philippians chapter 4, verse 3, we read of the Lamb's book of life. The Lamb's book of life. And very simply put, this is the book in which all those who have trusted Christ for salvation are recorded. The Lamb of God, the Lord Jesus Christ, who takes away the sin of the world. The Lamb of God, who was sacrificed for us. The Lamb of God, who shed his blood for us, 
so that our sins are atoned for and they are cleansed and washed and purged and purified. And when you and I repent of our sins and come to the cross and embrace the Lord Jesus Christ to be our one and only Savior, our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And today I want to encourage you, if your name is not written in the Lamb's Book of Life, today would be a good day to get right with God through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. And uh, be sure, be sure, doubly sure that your name is in the Lamb's Book of Life. If we can be of any help, please reach out to us and we would love to talk with you and explain it further and pray with you. Have a good day. God bless you. For more videos like this, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Grace Gospel English Church Toronto. Thank you.